Welcome everybody to Facebook Live. This is episode four. We're gonna be talking about carburetors. Uh, today I have a special guest. This is uh, Mr. Smitty Smith. He's uh, what I, I like to call our uh, resident carburetor specialist. Uh, you. you know, uh, can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been here, Smitty, and you know, wh what do you do? Uh, work in the technical department here for Edelbrock LLC. Uh, been here going on 27 years. Wow. And uh, carburetors are part of my specialty. Awesome, awesome. So pretty much what we're going to talk about this uh, episode is uh, we're going to talk about the different variety of carburetors that we offer and as, as well as the uh, different sizes that we offer. Um, you know, we have everything from a Performer, an AVS, and our newest one, our AVS2. And, um, and Smitty's uh, going to take us, you know, through uh, the, you know, the features of the different kind of carburetors and, you know, a little bit in depth of every single one. So if you, would you want to start with maybe the Performer? Yeah, we'll start with the Performer. The Performer was Edelbrock's first offering goes back to 1988-1989. Um, originally the Edelbrock carburetors were made by Magneti Morelli USA. Um, they also made those carburetors for Carter and Federal Mogul before Edelbrock got into the carburetor business. Uh, we've been selling these Performer Series carburetors since 1989. Wow, so almost They're, around the time that I was born. <laughs> Are some uh, young guys out there? Yeah. So, um, what what comes out? What uh, sizes do they offer the performer in? Those uh, performers are offered in four different sizes. Okay. They are available in 500, 600, 750, and 800 CFM sizes. Awesome. And uh, what uh, what other carburetor above this? Let's say somebody wanted something a little bit, you know, a little better than the performer series. Well, the step up from the performer series would be the Thunder series AVS. Okay. I'll explain. ABS. Adjustable valve secondary. Ah. The difference between a performer and an ABS might be hard to see here. The air valve, adjustable valve secondary has an adjustable spring loaded air door. We're on the performer series, might be hard to see, has a counterweighted secondary air door, non adjustable. Gotcha. So that's the main difference between the two. That's the main difference between the two. Okay. And uh, our newest carburetor is the AVS2, correct? Correct. The All newest right. one is huge. What an improvement. Adjustable valve secondary 2, AVS2. Gotcha. Uh, the biggest thing about the AVS2 is the annular flow boosters in the primary. That's gotcha. absolutely the. They didn't think we could make an old carburetor better. Boy, we certainly did. Gotcha. And that's, that's pretty much the main improvement, right, is the, the fact that instead of Absolutely. a down leg booster, you have your, uh, your annual booster. And what, is, what, what pretty much makes the difference between the two? What's the benefits of one versus the other? Well, I'll explain the difference between the down leg and the annular flow booster. The down leg has a single stream, as you can see on the video behind us here. Um, and that fuel will stay in a fuel status until it gets below the butterfly. That's when it mixes with the incoming air and that takes a little bit longer in that carburetor body to antibody. Ah, uh, gotcha. And once you're going over to the annual booster, is it just that it helps the fuel atomize quicker? Boy, it's uh, as soon as it comes out of the booster, it's like a, uh, a sprinkler head. It's atomized, it fans, as you can see right there with the eight equal orifice holes. It really uh, Throttle response is amazing. Gotcha, and that's just in the primaries, correct? Correct. Gotcha. Just in the primaries. Okay. I got a picture here of see so really well, there you go. get an idea of what right. it looks like. So that's the main difference is the fact that it, the down leg booster pretty much just dumps raw fuel in there, and like Smitty was saying, um, it doesn't atomize until past the butterflies, correct? And this pretty much helps it atomize a lot a lot quicker, so it distributes the fuel a lot better. It it atomizes quicker, and it just burns oh it burns a lot better. Correct. The atomization is instant. Um, I, it's burning more fuel than with the down leg style. That's the way I look at gotcha. it. You don't uh, you, you got better mileage potential as well because it's atomizing. Mm -hmm. Atomization is what it's all about. That's what EFI does. Yeah, exactly. I remember the first time I drove our our R and D truck. When they switch from one to the other, I mean, you're cruising down the down the street and you want to, you know, overtake somebody. I mean, you step on it. There's no hesitation. It's instant throttle response. Amazing. It's really, really nice. I mean, I never, like you said, you know, how how do you make a car better? This is pretty much the only way you could really do it. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we've been selling this carburetor for about 30 years, and uh, how can we make it better? Well, this annular flow booster did the trick, without gotcha. a doubt. 
And uh, what do you know what sizes we're going to be offering the uh, ABS? The ABS two will be available 500, 650, and 800. Gotcha. Okay. And at the moment, I believe we're still working on the 800. It's not released yet. Right. The engineer just released the uh, ERN yesterday, as a matter okay. of fact. So yeah, the 800 will come here in the next uh, probably month or two. Awesome. Awesome. So, I mean, you know, we can let the, uh, the internet run for a little bit, see if anybody has any questions. Um, one gentleman said the uh, quadrant jet is the best. I, I would have to disagree compared to the AVS-2 on that one. Well, it's so similar now with the with the adjustable valve secondary right. like a quadrant jet has. It's yep. got an adjustable valve spring-loaded door. Um, but, boy, this uh, this AVS-2 is going to atomize better than any quadrant jet, trust yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've gotten questions where they ask if they could just buy the boosters by themselves, but unfortunately, we're not going to be releasing that. Um, we won't be selling the boosters separately. You have to buy the actual carburetor, you know. That's and upper management. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the, we do offer it in manual and electric choke as well. So, Absolutely. you know, just like everything else. Um, rumor has it that, you know, the, the, it might, this one's so good that the AVS, the original AVS might be discontinued. This still, well, still, yeah, you know, you took the two best features from the old AFB carburetor. We made an adjustable valve secondary and with the annular flow booster. There's no need for a AVS Thunder There really isn't. You've already got that yeah. and the added booster feature. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah, so like we said, I mean, the main difference between the uh, the Performer and the AVS-2 is the... Uh, the annular flow booster. The annular flow boosters, and uh, from the and Performer the to the AVS secondary. is the air valve secondary. Let me give you a nice little close-up from there. And that's, that's just spring-loaded, and you adjust it right here. There's a set screw on the side. Set screw on the side. Just takes regular hand tools, a torque screwdriver, and a slotted screwdriver. You're good to go. Awesome. And as you can see on this one, there is no non -adjustable. valve. Non-adjustable. Non-adjustable, exactly. Counterweighted That's air what door. That's Awesome. Works off an of engine vacuum from velocity in the secondary. Okay. And uh, let's see, recently, there you have that. Awesome, Brian. Good to hear. Um, you know, one of the questions, since we already have this uh, carburetor out here, um, you know, maybe you could talk us through how, do, how people are, are supposed to adjust their floats. Because that's one question I get online floats, all the time, yeah. you know? Yeah, excellent. Because we work the tech line, we always get the call. Yep. Um, we don't have one, to, but I can illustrate, if you will. Uh, to adjust the float level, you got eight screws that hold the top on, and with the top inverted upside down, you want to use a 7 16th drill bit, and you want to be able to get it halfway under the float before the bit raises the float. That's so, the key. So it's just right here on the side, huh? You can see right where that silver solder spot is. You want to be able to get that drill bit halfway under there before it raises the float with the drill bit. That's how you set float level. When you have the lid and the floats hanging, you only want one inch of float drop. Awesome. One nice. other thing we should might cover might be fuel pressure. Oh yeah, there you go, that's a good one. Carburetors are low pressure. Uh, the Edelbrock carburetors typically only use five to six PSI, 6.5 or six and a half pounds pressure maximum. Gotcha. Um, what happens if you put too much through it? Well, if you have too much pressure, like if you have a high pressure fuel uh, pump without a regulator, it could overfill the bowl where the needle and seat can't shut it off and it'll have little teardrops or drippage from the boosters itself. Ah, gotcha. Too much gotcha. fuel pressure. Let's see. Any other questions we got? Well, I think everybody, you know, uh, pretty Den simple. Dennis said hi. Hello. <laughs> No, I think we're good. Any other uh, topics you think that we'd be able to cover? Um, no, I don't think. I think, uh, you know, they have for a one-year warranty, mm -hmm. uh, customer satisfaction. We want customers to be happy. That's the key. And another thing that people don't realize, these are actually made in the USA. We, made in we the made, USA. We make them in our uh, facility in, uh, what is it, North Carolina? Sanford. Sanford, Sanford exactly. Sanford, North Carolina is the Edelbrock Carburetor Division. Yep. Um, we acquired that division in 2012, so they are made in the USA. Awesome, I was just there during the power tour. We actually went to go get a, a facility tour. It was, pretty, it was pretty amazing how many people it actually takes to build these things. I mean, every little part that's actually made. I think here. we've got 60 to 70 employees yep. there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of people there. Let's see, uh, what would you recommend for a 56 Chevy truck with a built 350 cam board? 
Our new AVF too. The 650, the 650 would probably be the best choice. Yeah, there you go. 1905 manual choke and a 1906 electric choke. There you go. Uh, those for uh, Brian. There you go, Brian. Awesome. Let's see. We got one uh, 1406 and it's overloading. What what does he do? I would um, look down the throat of the carburetor while it's idling to make sure you don't see any teardrops or drippage of fuel from the boosters. If you do, you'll probably have to remove the top lid and adjust float level. Gotcha. Awesome. All right, let's see. I see they're popping up over there. Oh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. No new ones. Cool. All right. Well, I think uh, I think that about covers all the uh, new specs on the new AVS2. Like we said, we're gonna the 800 is uh, should be coming out pretty shortly, and uh, the what is it five the 500? 500. 500. 650 are available now. Awesome. All right. Well. Thank you, Smitty, for coming on the show, Thanks, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Take see care. Next time. Thank you.